This whole camp is really thought provoking. I like a lot of, I've been to a lot of youth groups and churches and I've been to a lot of places and they never ask the hard questions and I think they never challenge us enough. I liked the one where they were just like proving that the Bible is real because for when I do a lot of conversations with people, it's always, well, like, you know, Jesus and the cross for our sins and all this. I tell them the gospel and they're like, well, how do you know that's true? Because the Bible says so. <laughs> and then they're like, well, how do you know the Bible's right? And I'm like, because it is. And I mean, you never, I mean, I never had an answer for that. And I always have to walk away being like, I wish I would have known how. And this camp taught me how it's real and so much more about how God is in creation and um, God is through music and worship and He's evident everywhere. And they showed me how to prove that to people. People are coming up in my head that I've left the conversation and they've actually told me, come back when you have answers and I can go back and tell them. So I'm excited. But as Christians, I don't think we're supposed to be satisfied with the answers that we have because a lot of the answers that we are unanswered and that there's hard questions out there. We're supposed to seek God and go after them and learn them and to grow stronger in our faith. And I think that we're, we should know that and we're representing God and that if we don't know how to defend our faith, then like what do we do? Like how are we supposed to share the faith if we don't know a lot about it, if we don't know it ourselves? I was so excited for the 101, but now I want to do even more and learn more and just like I'm leaving and I'm going to read all these books about it because it, like I was told that it's like drinking through a fire hose. You get as much as you can and I just want to get as much as I can.